Hey everybody, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, the total campaign, Rival here, and I have a new fleet. I might notice that we've gone down quite a bit in money. And the reason we've gone quite a bit of money down is because I bought this, Steel Strike Fleet. It is my own design. Which means it has strike craft in it, hence the strike. However... It's a little bit different to what I would normally use. There is no battle stars in this fleet. None. Nada. Zippo. Not a single battle star has made it to this fleet. Instead, we have two Heracles gunships, four Atlases, and a Ranger. With the Celestra obviously there to repair fleets and things. All the Atlases are loaded up with Taipans and Assault Raptors, which gives us four strike groups. It's basically a long-range strike unit. The idea being that you put them as far away from the enemy as possible. The um, Heracles do their flak wall. Um, but they have an awful lot of firepower. And then you've got the Atlases, which have their large and medium guns to do add to that. Um, Obviously, the Rangers got debris mines, so sticks them out to thin out the raider numbers. The Taipans fall on that lot, and then everything just annihilates anything that comes even close. I took my inspiration, obviously, from Steel Rain, but I wanted strike fighters in the fleet. And this gave me the most options to begin with. Um, the Ranger wasn't even in the original concept. It turned out I actually had points left over after putting this lot together, and I was just like, what can I fit in there? I could have gone with another uh, Atlas. I have the points. I could have done it. But that would have left the fleet unbalanced, I feel. It's something that can be done in the future. I mean, we've got 150 points left over, so I could actually stick another Atlas in there. That's a whole nother strike unit um what we could do for example is we could detach that um i could go here build another atlas um throw that into the fleet makes it the full eight grand um and we could for example make it a boarding craft send three raptors out land on enemy one well, of the larger ships and just debilitate them it's entirely possible uh, alternatively we could go just with three assault raptor units bombers there's nothing wrong with any of that we could do that um, but it would leave us a little exposed on the uh, the raider front. But I'm going to leave this fleet here. We're not going to use it today. Um, I'm feeling we'll get this resource mission probably done with Another request from Steel Rain again. I'm this liking Steel Rain for these kind of these uh, little missions. And, you know what, we'll end it, sir. Still nothing else. Okay, so we'll do this resource mission. I'm not going to do the overextended mission yet because I don't want to get pulled into the Ghost Fleet section just yet. I want another video or so. Um, because once we're in there, that's it. It's the home stretch. You're just through the story missions. You've got nothing else to do. I mean, you do get access to the Orions. And the Defenders, and I will try and use them because they are good ships. They're just added too late in the campaign. Or this DLC. Um, and everything you've used up to now is, you know, it's got you this far. And then you go into the actual Ghost Fleet part of the, the DLC. And then you're given two new ships. And you've not had any time to get used to what they can do. To test in different fleet designs or anything like that. I think Black Labs made it. They tripped up here. They've done so well for so long, and this is just something they tripped up on. They should have given them to us earlier so we could play around with them. 
Um, and they didn't, which means you get to the end and you're going, why would I put new ships into the fleet? This has got me this far. So there's not a lot of fleets out there that people go, oh, it's got an Orion in. Oh, it's got a Defender in. I do think the Defender is a good ship, but you need to use it in lo like a longer engagement, and I don't think the engagements in Battlestar Galactica are long enough. There's no knockdown drag outs in there. You don't really recall your Vipers for repairs because there's no need to, or there's no time to. Um, the enemy just steamrolls into you, and you don't get the chance. You need two, three, four turns in order to repair them up and then send them back out again. You don't get that. Because if you pull them back, well, the enemies are constantly firing missiles, so how are you going to launch them? If they can get them to launch them on the side that doesn't have flak on it, then that would be great. Um, and then you could bring them out and repair them and all that kind of stuff, still hidden behind your wall of defense. But they don't have that, so... Why would you pull them back? You may as well keep them out there until they're gone. Or until the mission's over. It's just one of those little niggles. Little niggle, that's all. Anyway, Steel Rain. You're going back in again. Because you're just freaking awesome. Proceed! But let me know what you think. Should I go with the Ranger? Should I go with the Atlas? If I do go with the Atlas, what setup should I have on that Atlas? We're going to stick with the Taipans and everything on the others, because I love the Taipan in this particular role. Um, but if that's the case, what should I do with that fifth Atlas? Should I go down the... Um, oh, let's get you lined up properly. Should I go down the... Assault Raptor route, or I just stack Assault Raptors, or should I go more Taipans and Assault Raptor group? Should I go Raptors? Let me know. I am interested in people's opinions on that one because it's a it's, it is a brand new fleet, and it's definitely something I've never built before. But I think it will be extremely effective. I think it will be extremely effective. Alright, let's do this. I really do. I just think Fleet Group is jumping in three, two, it can be one badass to the bone. Dreadus contacts. Cylon fleet is present. Now we don't have to worry about those dust clouds. This does not worry us at all. Because it impedes squadrons. And we are not having squadrons on this little dance. So it doesn't bother us in the slightest. On, Everyone go attack. Launching mines. That's actually pretty well laid out. Action station set condition one throughout the ship. This is not a drill. This is a drill. That's good. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Firing solution is online. Target is three four five nine nine.
launching mines. Yeah, other side, don't like that, no. Launching mines. Optimizing firing solution. Missiles incoming. All right, time to fire up the old flak. I'm on it, Commander. Thank you. Um, I shall throw down mines on the fleet. Yeah, I will actually. That was a good thing we did last time. Much better. Launching mines. Target and All right, this is so much fun. Focus fire everyone on that. Uh, we're going to have to wait for the debris cloud to dissipate before we can do anything, but... Going after, yeah, they're going after that. System repairs underway. Cool. Go defensive. To the yes, Commander. Is uh, navigation okay? Gonna have to just hold the line. I can't knock out the 
Yes, Commander. Um, cancel target. Navigation's coming back on, right, you. Deploy plating to that one, right side. Launching drones. Focus fire, there. Heracles is taking damage. Yeah, your armor is offline. Okay. Supply raptors are ready. Order received to clean up and de escalate. Pair the left. How are you doing, bud? Oh, you're almost back up on form. My oh, accent. Armory still repairing. Okay. To this little debris cloud. Awesome, navigation's back up. Let's go back to tech bay so we can repair the rest quickly. Mm, what about you? You're at nine. You, well, you're on attack, so I probably should throw you onto defense. Right, so you're on PCMs, which means that's all done. Missiles incoming. Well, that's fun. It means that they can't fire anymore. It's almost fully repaired. Nice. Yeah. 
please is taking damage. Yeah. Subsystem is back online. Keep turning. Come on. Heracles is taking damage. Took a bit more of a pounding than we were hoping to, but we did okay. Units are dark. They didn't know what hit them. <sighs> and everyone levels up, which is great. And everyone got... Oh, I thought everyone got killed, but we just got... There we go. Oh, oh well. Yeah, it's just annoying. But everyone levels up, which is huge. You got three enemy ships on your own, bud. That's impressive. And of course, the Celestra takes the longest to uh, level up because, well, let's face it, it doesn't shoot. Action station, set condition one throughout the ship. Could have been a lot worse. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Firing solution is online. I keep the ranger a bit further back though. We can definitely Optimizing do those uh, mines on top of the fleet. It is a shame that missiles are not taken out by debris clouds. Lift every clouds on the fleet definitely help. Because the raiders have to do the flak and the debris cloud at the same time. They just rip their numbers to pieces. Again, the hacking caused a problem. They're already in our network. I can't keep them out. We're taking fire. Nemesis. Order received to clean up in the afternoon. Surprisingly, th those missile hits there were okay, simply because it was fresh on. It's time to clean up and go home. And people may be asking why I didn't use the Rangers torpedoes. They're fast-moving targets. They would have dodged them. It would have been wasted ordnance. Torpedoes are good for point blank range or for uh, very slow moving targets. And they're very potent, but. Don't do 
That was good. That was a good fight. And repair the fleet. 343. Three. Just painful. This is pretty grim. One particular Cylon fleet has been hunting civilian transport suspected of helping the Ministry Resistance. Each time they take out a ship, they also steal the crew manifest. It means family on the ground can't get recognition for the death of their relative. All attempts at hunting these frackers have failed, which is why they're calling us in. We'll get some Marines on board to take back those records, and then do what we always do. That could be a tough one. This is pretty grim. One particular Cylon fleet has been hunting civilian transports suspected of helping the Ministry of Resistance. Wasn't there a predominantly consists of close-range gunships? It's a very weak fleet. It means family on the ground can't get recognition for the death of their relative. All... That would be ideal for Steel Rain Fleet if it wasn't for the fact that the uh, it needs a Raptor on the station. Another mission that Steel Rain can't do. Well, maybe Steel Strike could do. Mm, you never know. Uh, let's send in Sharp's Fleet, though. I'm feeling Sharp's Fleet for this one. We do need a Raptor on station, though, so... We'll have to change that, and I'll have to change his number. Jump, let's get this mission done. Hmm. Just one of those things. It's just weird. I want to use the fleet, but I also want a bit of feedback, you know. That was one of the things that I did with uh, all the fleets. I let people have their say. Okay. Got a Raptor squad. Let's do this. Prepare to jump in three, mm. two, one. All right, let's Greatest deal with contacts. this. Hunting party is confirmed. We'll launch Raptors on your command, sir. Yes. Well, my command is in a minute. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Cool. All right, so the ship we want at the front. Which means it's exposed. Well, that's fine. We can send everything else and send the ra uh, the Raptor to that. Uh, sign group six. Nope. Go for that one. Yes, sir. Assault Raptors. Select target there. Board that. Would you mind not shooting at the target? That'd be great. Got it. All right, type hands. Select that. A 
Assault Raptor, select target. That. Got it. Paint the target as well. Boom. Black. And recalling squadron. Thank you. Oh my god, they take out three ships. The Taipans take out three ships. <laughs> oh, these things are amazing. Alright. Um, <laughs> you're, you're recalling. Excellent. You lot, go offensive. Focus your fire there. Damn. Type bands. Yes, yeah, select your target. Kill it. Go. Oh my god. I mean, it is ten squadrons of type bands. <laughs> Ten squadrons of Taipans just Intel will have the manifest decrypted and ready to return by the time we jump. <laughs> I love Taipans. Okay, did we lose anything? Did they scratch the paintwork? I don't think they scratched the paintwork either. <laughs> All right, 204, 191, 187, 180, 168. Oh my giddy aunt. This was an oil bath. Escort priority one, still online. Yes, I said oil bath, not blood bath. So don't shoot the ship we're trying to board. Any squadron down? Two down. Three down. Four down. Five down. Six down. We're done, we're going home. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, my God. Oh, and I've got the name for this video. <laughs> that was Ministry has decided hilarious. To colony ship to join the big leagues. Unfortunately, the Cylons don't agree, and they've ambushed the ship on its way to reassignment. We need that's to intercept fine. and protect colonial fleets. Yeah, that's no problem. Okay, that was brilliant. I love that. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like we saw, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget to check down the description where you'll find links to my uh, Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and Patreon. I'm just really happy about that last fight. <laughs> Till next time, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.